Dr. King gave his life for us. So join me in giving him a round of applause. Please. King Holiday is a day on and not a day off. It's not a day that we stay at home and just sit and watch television. It's not a day that we don't do anything because this man died for us. He gave his life for us. If there's something we don't do on any other day, we've got to do it tomorrow. We've got to do something to help somebody else. Vision 2020. Count me, count my vote. First place, we have Colette Gray. Hi, my name is Jaden Samuels. I attend to Alistair Middle School. I'm in the eighth grade. I'm 14 years old. Um, I decided to participate in this contest because, you know, I've always liked to write about stuff, especially opinion pieces and things of that nature. And so when my mom uh, presented this to me, I was, I was like, okay, you know, it's a good chance for me to be able to write because I do that pretty easy for myself and I could possibly get something out of it. And um, since I, like, I got, I actually got it really late after, since they extended the date, the date for ex, like turning it in. So I'm actually happy that I won, and you know I and now because I've been saving up, so you know it's really good that I have something to do with the prize money. Yeah, it's very exciting. The first place winner it is Miss Candace House. Congratulations. My name is Candace House. I go to St. John's College High School and I'm currently a senior there. I participated in the MLK essay contest because last year I was in the program and they said that they had a lot of extra prizes and a lot of um, people didn't participate and it seemed like a missed opportunity so I thought that I would try and participate this year and I'm really happy that I won because I really needed a computer for college next year as I wouldn't be able to afford it so I'm really thankful to the program.